Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to make this my maiden speech. It is a great honour and great responsibility, joyfully accepted, to represent the people of Broxtow with all the energy and determination and commitment of which I am capable. The people of Windrush Generation came to Britain to help rebuild our great country, and my parents were among them. Dad Harry is from Jamaica, and Mum Gloria from Trinidad. Like many of that too long ignored generation, they worked hard to make a good life here. Dad worked double shifts, and Mum worked all day in a factory. They saved, they bought a house, they were ambitious, and they prospered. We were a traditional British working class family, hard working, loyal, fiercely patriotic, and conservative. The members opposite claim Windrush as their own, as if it is obvious that immigrants are somehow obliged, morally and practically, to be Labour supporters. Well, my family was not, and I am not. I stand here as evidence of what immigrants and their children can achieve in what my parents called the land of opportunity. I am proud to be the first Conservative MP of West Indian heritage. Black, British with all my heart, immensely proud of my West Indian heritage and conservative to my fingertips. Madam Deputy Speaker, before coming to this place, I spent 26 years in the Royal Air Force. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like others here, I knew that service to my country was the right and dutiful career for me. At Chilwell Station, also known as Chetwin Barracks, we have seen service personnel as part of Opt Rescript assisting efforts to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. As it is Armed Forces Week and Veterans Day today, I hope this message is heard loud and clear by my fellow veterans. If you are driven by public service, as I am, stand up and serve your community again.